Most subcontractors have to use separate systems and spreadsheets to manage or change orders, TNM tickets, billings, and subcontracts because they use generalist software that was not designed around the VUCA nature of the trades. Now, if you drop a stake on the ground, it does not make it ground beef. And if you relabel generalist software as specialist software, it does not make it work for specialists. We fixed this problem. Okay, for this video, when you see this system up on the screen, Put your project management and accounting hat on. This is where both departments live. And when you see this, this is the super app for the field. All 10 apps in one spot. So we eliminate that app fatigue that the field is feeling now. And what's most important to know about these three products is that we have a live connection between bidding field and finance. So you do not have to struggle with any integrations, imports, exports, or anything. We take you beyond integration right out of the gate. So the first thing I want to do is bring your attention to this analysis tab over here. I'm going to stretch the screen over so you can see more menu items. Hit the analysis tab and you'll notice that this is a roofing job. If I click over here, you'll see that this is a landscaping job. If I click over to these, this job here, it's clearly an interior job. We're a multi-trade solution, multi-trade, multi-company, multi-location, all in one spot. We can handle any trade out there. Now, I'm going to close this down here so you can see even more menu items. This is literally everything you need to run a job in a company and multi-companies. But what's most important right now is the contracts tab. So this is the single repository for all of your contracts. Here's your original contract, and these are all the change orders and TNM tickets or extras that have been generated on the job as it's progressing. Now over on this tab here, this is where you manage all of your subcontracts. So everything from the actual contract itself with your subcontractors, all the pay applications, insurance certificates, liens, et cetera. Now, let's go back to this. Okay, so when I start up a new contract on the job, you're gonna see options on which type of contract you wanna create. Now, in other training videos, we'll show how to complete or price out a contract in this screen. But the important thing for this video is that this is the single repository for any change that happens on the job, regardless of where the change is coming from. If it's coming from your estimating system or WinBid, it'll populate this contract screen. If it's coming from a T&M ticket or extra work order ticket that's done in the field app, it'll come into here as well. And dependent on what your company's presets are for changes on each job, the tickets, when they come in, they'll be automatically priced and then packaged up with all the supplementary documentation to help you get paid so you can send it to your customer. Okay, so a couple cool little nuggets here for you. One, you can add multiple change orders or TNMs or extra work order tickets to a single change order. And if I wanna view that from a consolidated fashion, actually I gotta do some weatherman work here, just move out of the way and right here, you just click this button right here, boom, consolidated. So let's unclick that. Now, another thing that's cool, you don't need Excel at all, period, for change order workflows. We manage all status levels from ideation to approval inside of Plexus. So accounting has full visibility to every single change order, regardless of the status. Now, what's really cool here is depending on the status, it'll impact the job in several ways. Um, first, let me show you the change order log, how easy it is to get. Uh, I got to do some more weatherman work here, step out to the side, and I'm just going to click this button here. You're going to see what a change order log looks like, and more importantly, how easy it is to get. Now, here's a canned change order log, but you know what? If you want to mine it or mine it in different ways or change the perspective of it, you've got all of these options up here. So we'll get out of that, and I'm going to show you something else that's cool. Remember, Plexus has a live connection between bidding field and finance. So from the field's perspective, when the foreman go to, go to their job, the labor and material breakouts will automatically be impacted by change orders. And here's one of my favorite examples. They'll get a live labor breakout on the job with remaining hours and remaining man days. But because of the live connection, the change orders are impacting the budget with pending and approved change orders. So if you've got those pending agreements where you've started the work in the field, but they're not approved yet, they still impact the budget, but they don't hit billings. And then of course, the same is on the material breakout as well. It's a live material breakout, including pending and approved change orders. Now, if the foreman want to see the change orders themselves, get this, they can just come into the 
field documents and they can see every change order that has been created but we remove pricing every document that goes into the app pricing is removed so they can see the labor and materials that have impacted their live labor material breakups okay one thing i recommend is go watch the super app video to see how easy it is to create a TNM ticket or extra work order authorization in the field and you'll not only see how simple it is to, to do that and get the customer signature on the TNM ticket on the iPad in the field, but you'll see the complete connected workflow right through to accounting. Now, on that note, the connected workflows do, of course, extend to billings. So when I open up a progress draw here, I can come into the extras tab and automatically add all approved change orders at the click of a button. I can even go in and select pending change orders and add them to the pencil payout so the GC knows what's coming down the pipe. And creating the actual invoice itself is just as easy. We are